Our next speaker is Jan Marzinek from the Bioinformatics Institute at ASTAR. Breaking the wall of dengue virus using a virtual microscope. Um, dengue virus is causing approximately 400 million cases a year. During the, first, uh, during the first infections, in the worst case scenario, you can get mild dengue fever. However, during the second infection with a different serotype, our immune system wrongly recognized the virus, and this can lead to severe dengue and dengue hemorrhagic fever. This process is called antibody-dependent enhancement. We still have no highly effective vaccine available. This is the picture from electron microscopy of the viruses released from the cell. This picture shows that the maturation process is actually very ineffective. In fact, over 45% of the viruses released from the cell are immature. The immature viruses are non-infectious because they are capped with a small protective protein so that they cannot interact with other cells. However, they become extremely dangerous when you are complex with certain antibodies. And this process is called antibody-dependent enhancement. However, the molecular details of this mechanism until recently remain unclear. Well, experimental structures help scientists to understand the biology and the underlying mechanism. In fact, recently, with our experimental collaborators, they have solved the intermediate stages of the antibody-dependent enhancement However, these are only pictures which represent static structures and they like the dynamics. So if we have state A to B, we don't know what's happening in between. One can use uh, computer simulations, also called a virtual microscope, to deliver dynamics, to deliver the, the movie in between those states, to understand the mechanism in more details, but also to understand the energetics. Although supercomputers are becoming more and more powerful, we cannot uh, probe the dynamics of the viruses because they have a lot of atoms. We're talking about millions of atoms. So what we can do, we can, we can uh, represent atoms as bits, group them into bits, and decrease the computational power. By doing this, we can run simulations, and we, in fact, we have already shown that we can refine the structure of the viruses using computer simulations. We have also uh, extracted intermediate stages of the infection process and propose a new mechanism of, of the infection, validating this with uh, cryo-electron microscopy images. And finally, we have broken uh, the, the, we cracked the, 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 bi the biology underlying the antibody-dependent enhancement, which triggered the full transition between two stages observed experimentally, and we have shown that these proteins, the small proteins, are actually decapped, sorry, uh, can be decapped Uh, can be decap due to the steric, uh, steric hindrance. So if we know the mechanism, we are now in a position to develop new drugs, and we're proposing a new target uh, for drugs um, against the most severe cases of dengue. Thank you. Okay, I think we don't have time for questions, but thank you very much.